And he is a numbers guy, and those numbers, they continue to go up. Meteorologist Scott Munt is looking at precipitation totals for this winter. As a blizzard continues across eastern Kettleland for tonight, we are not only watching the snow pile up, but also watching our precipitation numbers pile up for this winter. Snow started yesterday in southeast Kettleland, and aside from a break for a couple of hours during the early afternoon, it snowed during the evening, and it really hasn't stopped. All of this will eventually add up to snow amounts of at least a foot for parts of eastern Kettleland. The snow continues to add to our liquid precipitation this winter, and here is a look at where we stand so far. Not including what fell today, Sioux Falls is currently in second place for wettest winters. We need an inch and a half for first place from 68-69. Huron is currently at its 16th wettest and needs a half inch to crack the top 10. Pier is 20th and needs a little more than a third of an inch for the top 10. Again, these numbers do not include what has fallen today. So we'll add today's numbers, and with the system coming early next week, we'll add those in. Now keep in mind, the winter months are December, January, and February. So it looks like it could be a close finish as to what year we finish first for wettest winters. For Kettle Land Weather, I'm meteorologist Scott Munt.